Did you see the one where Kid Rock got caught drinking a Bud Light or something? Jeez, yes. <laughs> what the f***? He should have like, thought that one through. He didn't, you know. But that's, you know, I feel like that's, that's social media, that's news, that's everybody going, you know, they you know make a huge deal about something. And in reality, in the back of their head, they're going, well, that doesn't apply to me. Well, no, if you go, you know, shotgunning beers, literally with a, with a literal shotgun or AR or whatever Whatever. he used. Tannerite, something. Yeah. Like, man, you better stick to your guns, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Cosmo Unfiltered. I'm Cosmo. This is my boy Wes. I'm the filter. Everybody knows Wes. Camera guy, audio Camera. guy, lighting guy. I'm the, the guy. Third hand cooking guy. I can cook. Hold this guy. Yeah. HR. HR. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes when we uh, deploy HR <laughs> tactics. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, uh, yeah. It, yeah. Well, on today's episode, we're going to be talking Thanksgiving drinking. Thanksgiving drinking with the fam. I have heard there's a bar in Oklahoma City. They're a restaurant too, but they are open on Thanksgiving every year. In the in the evening, they open up mm-hmm. and they serve like a Chinese food takeout menu. They don't serve that the rest of the year, but they make they riff on like these Chinese food dishes. You can go get like orange this mess of like nice orange chicken, and fried rice, and drink booze. It's kind of like the best way to end oh, yeah. Thanksgiving night. Like, <laughs> dude, it's after a competition. Your, your palate is so blown. Oh, jeez. That it's, and this is for me, and, and, and as, as you, you know, the competition world, this is, I think, one thing that's never talking about. No one speaks about it, but we all know about it, is when we leave, it's pizza, yep. Mexican food, Chinese food, or Italian food. But ten, usually for me, it's Mexican food or pizza. Yep. But Chinese Reset. food is, don't sleep on it. No, oh no. Don't sleep on it's it. It's good, man. But they, they told us that that night is one of the highest grossing nights for bars in the whole year. Really? Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's why bars are always open. Yeah. Because people show up. Yeah. Ready to, ready to drink. Ready to forget. Yeah. So we shot a video and we did apple cider margarita. Margarita. Uh, pecan praline, old fashioned, yep. and the uh, mule. Oh yeah, the app. Um, I think it was an apple cider mule, is what it was. Yeah, I think so. I think so. A little Tito's, remember. little apple cider. Yeah, it was yep. good. It was good. That was, you know, after now after I thought the margarita was my favorite or the old fashioned. You you took a hold of that mule though, but that mule, man, that mule. It is next yes, level. They don't call it a mule for nothing. Yeah. It is next freaking level. I thought that the the old fashioned ended up looking more like a white Russian. Yeah. I think there was actually something wrong with that bottle of uh it was a, it was more of a cream whiskey. whiskey than a Yeah. Because you can get the praline whiskey. Right. Right. On its own. And that's if I had it to do over again, that's yeah, what I would that would have that's that what I would fixed it. Yeah, that would have fixed it because it started getting a as it sat there longer and longer and you can't tell on set. Like it looks like we make it and drink it, make it and drink it, make it and drink it. Yep. And it it actually sat there for a while. It did. You know, cuz we got to, you know, so we put it in the fridge, but we it's put still We put it in the fridge, but I think there was something wrong with that bottle. Yeah. I mean, it was still good. Sure. But you know, I probably, I, I could have tried to pour it uh, that, over it, the spoon for separation yeah, yeah. purposes, but y- you know me, dump it. Well, boom. Um, I will say this, drinking with our family, my brother-in-law's, my youngest brother-in-law on my wife's side, his uh, father-in-law Cause I mean it's it's a huge it's thing. everybody it, it, yeah, it, yeah everybody yeah like, like let's cook this shit once and everybody show up and we'll just do it but he makes Josie's name funniest guy like dude is freaking awesome he showed up one year and he dumped a six pack a natty light in a pitcher a a bottle 
uh, of frozen concentrate. Oh, uh, we've done this. We've done it, yeah. Yes. Uh, frozen concentrate. The orange juice, right? Uh, lime juice. Lime juice. Lime juice. Or lemonade, lemonade. It was lemon, lemonade. lime, yeah. Some I know what you're lemonade. talking about. It's the one, the frozen tube. Yeah, dumped that in there, and then he filled that damn thing up with vodka and dumped it in there. And you think this? There's no way this is going to taste good, dude. I'm telling you right now. No, I've had that. What do they call that again? Uh, shit. We've made it. Redneck punch. I mean, it's everybody calls it something. Trash different. can punch or whatever. But Jesus Lord, it's phenomenal. But man, you better. Do you have a good time? You better be ready. Because like, <laughs> generally, we're, you know, we're drinking beer. Yeah, all day. You know? Yeah. And Ooh, and right. then you hit those. And people that don't know me, like a margarita, any kind of sour, tart yeah, yeah, drink yeah, yeah. like that is my Achilles heel. I will drink them like water. And I had two of them after probably having about six beers already and i man down quickly felt the wrath man down and i was like i don't understand like i haven't drank that much and whoo son happens like that happens like that so i'm more apt like you know now i don't i would rather have like you know the uh, apple cider mule. Right. Or the margarita, you know, one or two of those, and then, you know, just kind of chill out. Sure. Um, but that mule, so mules are the same way for me. You know, there's just something about that that ginger beer, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, that, that kind of spice. Yeah, that just gives it that, you know, because I only drink coffee in the morning, 20 ounces of coffee and water. That's it. I don't have Cokes. No. I don't have sugar drinks. No. Uh, every once in a while, I'll get a a uh, the sugar free vanilla latte. You yep. know, just as a treat for coffee because I drink coffee black. Yep. I mean, literally, black coffee or water. Yep. Or Miller Light. That's it. And I'm praying Miller Light don't do some dumb shit one day, and then th- this video gets dug up, and then people go, "I see <gasps> he drinks Miller Light. He drinks Miller Light." Did you see the one where Kid Rock got caught drinking a Bud Light or something? Jeez, yes. <laughs> what the f***? He should have like, thought that one through. He didn't, you know. But that's, you know, I feel like that's that's social media, that's news, that's everybody going, you know, they you know make a huge deal about something, and in reality, in the back of their head, they're going, well, that doesn't apply to me. Well, no, if you go, you know, shotgunning beers, literally – with a with a literal shotgun or AR or whatever, whatever. he used. Tannerite, something. Yeah. Like, man, you better stick to your guns, dude. It's less about what you did and what you did that to. Yeah. It's like the yeah. brand. Well, in my head, I go, you know. Here's how I feel. I feel like there's a fence on my right, there's a fence on my left, and I'm standing here in my yard trying to sort out practical shit, and I'm looking over each fence like, what? What? Yeah. I can what? barely control what's going on in my yard. What? Like, what? You know, like... Yeah. Quit throwing stuff over here. You know what yeah. I mean? There's Keep something shit in your about, own yard. Like, what in the world? Yeah. Like, yeah, they did bust his ass <laughs> straight up drinking, and it wasn't just a regular Bud Light that looked to be in the picture like it was a 16 or 24 ounce Bud Light. It's like a like, big one. Yeah, yeah it's a big one. But, he, he was he was breaking the fast. He was like, oh, thank <laughs> God, breaking. Can get fast. back to my roots. <laughs> oh. It was like Post Malone. Post was like, yo, Bud Light is home. Yeah, I drink Bud Light all the time. Like you can't take that from me. And like and here's the thing. Most people don't know the story about that. Now I don't want to get into it because I honestly you want my honest doesn't. opinion? I don't give two shit. It ain't even worth discussing. I don't it's drink like, Bud Light. I don't give a shit about Bud Light. You know, I, I just don't care. Right. And, you know, that's just the way it the way it is. But yeah. I'm just sitting there like, you know. I've learned in life, you can't fix anybody till you fix yourself. Right. You know? And at that, uh, piggybacking off what you're saying, have you had the the zero alcohol liquor yet? Are you talking about the hop water? Is hop that- water's fantastic. Have you had that? No, I, I, I want to try good. that, but where is it? Well, where is it? they call it hop refresher. So if you're looking for hop water, you're not going to find it. But Sierra Nevada makes it. You can get it oh. at like Sprouts or like, you know, the... 
You kind of, I haven't oh, seen I it at Target. Yet there's, hey, there's none of those stores where I come from. I, well, you know what I'm saying. You can drive past one and like pop in. I don't drive past one. <laughs> I'm trying to think because I've had Lagunitas has one too, but they have like flavors in theirs. And I don't like that as much as like the Sierra Nevada. It's like a little six pack in the box and it's zero alcohol and it's just hops. And it's like a hop LaCroix is all it is. Oh. So it's non-alcoholic beer. Non-alcoholic, but it's not even beer, though. Like, it just, it tastes like a, it's hard to say, because it's clear. I mean, it's like Uh, There's no way it tastes like alcohol. It does not. You cannot taste alcohol. There's no burn at all. But that's what I'm saying. They're selling you the illusion of you're drinking alcohol, but there's no alcohol in it. Here's the difference. I would think if, if, if you said to me, hey, Cosmo, I need you to make a non-alcoholic drink. I would immediately go, I love the taste of beer. Right. I love the taste of whiskey yep. and bourbon and you know some scotches. So I need to make sure that that taste is there. Sure. But none of the, you know. Right. They're like the side when you effects. drink like a non-alcoholic beer, you drink it in. There's something that's not there. Like you can tell there's it's no just, it, it's, alcohol in it. It's just fake. It's fake. But then there's like drinking it and enjoying the flavor of it. And then the alcohol's not like bringing you down. But do you, you enjoy the flavor? I do. Yeah. Really? I do. If I want to drink a beer and like enjoy the taste and not feel like alcohol yeah. bringing me down, like I do enjoy that. But I was telling a friend of mine who is in recovery and – about just the experience. I like drinking a non-alcoholic beer because I can enjoy the taste and it doesn't like bring me down. And she was like, oh, see, that's where we're different. She's like, I don't drink it to taste it. She's they, like, that they, was, they drink it to she's get like, that yeah. was never the goal. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. like, it didn't matter what it tasted like. It's like, okay, I guess we are yeah. different well, in that sense. I you know. That. So the other day I was in Florida uh, with a bunch of my right. uh, business uh, friends. With your associates. Yeah. And we're sitting at a table. We're actually in a, uh, a restaurant in Miami that is the whole restaurant's wide open. Dang. I mean, it's got, you got a roof over your head, but there's no walls in it. That's cool. And you're at a marina, million dollar boats. I mean, all sounds, that's going Sounds on. awful. It was horrible. Yeah. Bad food. I Very bet. expensive. A thousand dollar tab for all of us, but there was like eight of us. Yeah, sure. I mean, eight or nine of yeah, us. That's, so yeah. there, there was quite, quite a, a few of us there drinking and just going ham. Well, I go to the, uh, we left the, no, we left there, and we went to a bar right next door to there, right down the street, something like that. Well, they they bring me a beer, and I said, "Hey, do you have it? Do you have a frosted mug?" And they said, "Yeah." So they brought me a mug. Well, I go to dump my beer. You'd have thought I was clubbing baby seals. The way you poured your beer, the way I poured my beer. Who came after you? The entire group did. <laughs> <laughs> and well, how'd you do it? Did you did you go hot, hot, so hot and heavy with this, it? This, this is where I'm going. You know. People don't know how to pour beer. Well, you wanted a head on it, didn't you? Let me ask you this. How do you pour beer? Uh, well, it depends on the beer. Some of them will get out of hand. Right, you got to right, know what right, you're messing right. with. Yeah. Like there's, I like an everything rhymes with orange. That's something yeah, here. IPA. It's not the crispest beer. No. So you got to pour kind of heavy at the jump and then kind of taper off towards the end. But if you got something real bright, real crisp, you got to start slow or it'll get out of hand. Okay. So here's actually how you pour beer. And this is all beer. Now, now you have to learn when to, you know, let off the throttle and when right. to hammer down. Sure. So, you know, you hold the glass at a 45, you yep. pour down the side, yep. and then when you hit about halfway, Boom. pump and dump. Boom. Yep. Pump and dump. That's the right way. That's the right way. And they're like, well, you just lost half your beer. And I'm like, listen, man, it's, you don't lose your beer. It doesn't evaporate. Like, it just doesn't leave into thin yeah. air. <laughs> it and didn't I'm like, go yeah, you can pour it slow, you can pour it fast. Like, it, it, sure, still, yeah, it yeah. all still works out. But here's what happens. And, and uh, you can actually do this. Take a paper towel, roll it up, pour beer really slow, and then pour one just the way I told you. And then take that paper towel and, and dunk it in there, and you'll see all the, the carbonation yeah. erupt in the one that you poured slow. That's what's happening in your gut. Yeah, that's why people drink beer and they go, "I feel, I feel, I just feel full. Yeah. I feel, I feel so full." You got to air it out a little bit, right? And that's why people, obviously, this is kind of two part. 
you, you always go, oh, man, I drank keg beer. I'm so hungover. Well, two things happened. One, you was able to hold more because sure. th- there's less carbonation in, yep. at this point. But then two, you know, you're know, you not drinking it out of a can, so you're drinking it out of a cup. When you're drinking out of a cup, you drink way faster. Yeah, for sure. I got into trouble with that before. So Been there. I'm going to ask you another question because this got brought up too, and I, I hope they're listening to this. <laughs> We'll find out, I'm I, sure. I will find out because I'll get a text on. message from what yeah, and then they'll, you know. Andrew Jackson? No. Uh the men that built America. How do you say his last name? Carnegie. Carnegie. Yeah. Yeah. I pronounce it Carnegie. Oh. Yeah. That didn't go well. That did not go well. Well, I feel <laughs> like that's like the LinkedIn pronouncing. I'm a CEO of Carnegie Steel. Well, that's actually how the Scots pronounce it. Ah, well, that makes sense. There's but, more of an but, inflection. Yeah, but if you, Here. If, you, if you take it back, the early Scots, the, you know, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, elderlies, yeah, yeah, yeah. they pronounce it Carnegie, Carnegie, and, and you know, by the time it hit sure. Western, it just Carnegie. He, uh. From nay to knee. He was kind of controversial. Uh, well, that, uh, that damn killed a lot of people. Well, there's that, and there's just what he thought about wealth that does not vibe with what True. most wealthy yeah, people would concede. 200, 300 years ago, whatever. Uh, dude, whatever a happened. lot of it. It's like people, he, he thought that when you got wealthy enough that the government or whoever should like assume your wealth when you died because your kids would just waste it. Not that anybody would be destitute, yeah. but like if you're a billionaire. Which is what they were at the time. Oh, they were so well. Think about that. Back then, like... They've I've seen numbers where they like have adjusted it and how like obscenely wealthy those guys yeah. were. It's pretty wild, uh, I mean, especially hey, Rockefeller. Oh yeah, yeah, bizarre. And but that, no, this was like Andrew Carnegie. It was like his own. Nobody was telling him yeah. like this is what he had to do. He just thought that's what should yeah, happen. It's no. like, whoa, well that took a that took a, a turn. That's a, that's the okay. men that built America. Beer. That's a great show. Apple cider. Yeah, drinking with your family at Thanksgiving. Yes, which yeah you should do. Yeah, if you drink. You, you know the, you know one of these recipes. I right. think you should try. And you can make any of them with that NA alcohol too. They've got it in the bottles at stores. You can go find it. Really? Yep. It's supposed to give you the same mouthfeel and taste just without the alcohol. You're gonna have to take that. I'll try it. You know me. I'll sure. try it. You know, no, I mean but, you, the whole thing. You got to buy a bottle. Like you're in it. There's a bottle now. Yeah. They've got whiskey, tequila, gin that I've seen. I haven't seen a vodka yet. I don't know how they and would. This do is that. non-alcoholic. Yeah. No alcohol at all. Are these mixers or no? It comes in a bottle, like it with the rest oh, of the so, liquor. Oh, so so it's like a bottle of tequila that yep. has no alcohol in it. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. It's supposed to like taste and feel like tequila without alcohol. I know it's probably you're probably gonna have to make some why concessions. Is a, why is it in a liquor store then? What well, that's the thing about when you buy even when you buy hop water, you have to show your ID. Why? I think it's just the way it's like organized or the way it kind of. Gets categorized. There's probably at the some store. alcohol. It's probably like you know, an NA decaf. beer has zero point five percent alcohol by volume. Yeah, but so does orange juice. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You ready to get torn up on some orange juice? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm not ready to do that. It would take too much. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you like what we're doing, I ask that you share this with a friend. Leave us a comment down below. What is your favorite? Uh, beverage of choice with your family and maybe not just at Thanksgiving just you know whenever you're hanging out with family I'll catch you in the next episode peace